So this is Denmark Street, also known as Timpan Alley, and in the 60s and 70s was the main terminus for musicians and bands. If you are a guitarist and you are in the UK, the first place you should think of going is Denmark Street. Peter Green, Jeff Beck, Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton all bought their Gibson Les Paul guitars right here in this very building in the late 60s and early 70s. The shop was called Selma and the guitarist of the band Free, Paul Kossoff, also worked here. The shop changed in the 70s to selling hi-fi systems and then later became the turnkey music shop so at least it kept its musical connections. In fact I even bought my Phil Collin signature Jackson guitar right here in this very building but it closed in 2008. And now as you can see it's become a Mexican grill but at least the building still stands. Musicians often socialise in a cafe right here at number 9 called La Gio Gonda. It unfortunately closed in 1992 but at least they've left a plaque on the building. David Bowie put his first band together here. Elton John would eat in here and Jimi Hendrix, the Rolling Stones, the Kinks would all meet and greet in this very building. Here above number six is where the Sex Pistols rehearsed and even recorded their first demos here. I'm sure if you listen carefully you can hear Johnny Rotten screaming at the top of his lungs, God save the Queen, fascist regime. The band's manager, Malcolm McLaren, much to Johnny Rotten's distaste, redecorated the place. So he took out a marker pen and started drawing caricatures on the walls, and I believe those caricatures are still there. 